Hey, it's Pretzel Lovers, Todd and Mark here from WholeLotTheyLove.com. And Todd, we've got a couple of machines we're going to take a look at here today, right? Yeah, they're pretty exciting. These are the Bezra uh, Duo, Bezra Matrix. These are the DE versions, which are the programmable versions. Now, we've taken a look at the MN, which are the manual versions, and those have a different group, right? Yeah, they have the E61 group, like you see on a lot of machines. These have the uh, Bezra group, which is just for these two machines, or just for Bezerra. They make yeah. it themselves. So if you missed, if you want to check out the ones, the very um, essentially identical machines, right, mm -hmm. uh, except for the E61 group, use the link right up here uh, for that video on that. And Todd, you've also taken us inside the whole Matrix and Duo line to see how yeah. these things work, right? We tore right in there. So if you want to check that one out. Yeah. And there's some interesting stuff that we'll get into this later in the video. We're going to brew. We've got our shadow of our big daddy, E37T, over here. Mm -hmm. Really nice grinder. So we're going to brew, you're going to steam, and now I'm going to put you on the spot and have you pour some latte art. He likes to do that. I do. You get one try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, so tell us a little bit more about you know, what the, what the uh, Bezera group is all about. Okay, what that is, the E61 has a thermal siphon, which circulates water from the boiler through through it and back down to the boiler, the constant circulation keeps it hot. These are kept hot by, has two heaters embedded right into the chrome plated brass here. It's controlled by a thermostat. Uh, it's a PID thermostat, so it's very accurate. So mm -hmm. once it gets up the temperature, it holds the temperature, which is really good for your brewing. So it keeps a good stable brew temperature. And also you get something else with, with these groups that you don't see on the E61, and that's the fun Lights here to light up your coffee, right? Yeah, it's got the LED lights so you can see your coffee really nicely, even yeah. in a dark house. And I'm not talking about the lights on the Matrix here. I'm talking about there's a couple, you probably see them here a little bit. Yeah, when we're brewing, you'll get a good view of that. Yeah. Um, and also, these have that new touchscreen Jakar PID. Um, yeah, the so display. We'll, we'll go through that show you. It gives you a lot of uh, maintenance features in there, some other things. And now one thing that uh, I did want to touch on on these machines, they operate a little bit differently, right? The boilers themselves, because they can do something that you don't see on a lot of other machines with the... Uh, well, you talk about the, the power draw. What yeah. they do is they can have, actually operate both boilers at the same time. Right. So the steam boiler draws around nine amps, and then the brew boiler draws a little over five and a half, five and three quarters, so you're almost up to 15 amps. So with this, if you have a 15 amp, uh, that your circuit that you're plugging this into, you're going to have that a dedicated one. You won't want anything else on it. So use the standard standard Edison plugs, but uh, you do want to have a, a circuit that's got some some power yeah. to keep Ed these guys going, Ed right? Edison, Edison plug. Edison plug. Edison. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so again, these are these are programmable. So you've got the buttons up front, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got. Uh, Singles, doubles, manual. Yeah, you can program it. You have one manual button, and then the rest are programmable. You can program to dispense any amount of coffee that you want. And the difference between these and the other version, the MN versions, is these have a flow meter. So it measures the amount of water, and then that's how it knows when to turn off. Okay. And then also it has the lever valves, just like the other one does, um, up front, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the joysticks here. Yep, yep. Uh, good, good pressure on those, which is on the steam boiler, too, which is really nice. And then something else I just noticed, because we were just doing some taste testing a little earlier, mm -hmm. and you were dosing into the double shot, and it's, it's quite a hefty. It, it'll take a pretty large dose, right? I mean, oh, like, in the filter baskets? Yeah. Yeah, we were up over 19 grams, and we still we weren't quite up to the, where the fill line was on us. So they're big baskets. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice handles, though. Look at the wood handles on these. These are nice. I do, li I do like the wood touches. Um, let's see. Anything else that we want to get into before we just, you know, we'll take you through uh, operating the Jakar? Uh, touch screen and doing some frothing. Anything else we want to mention with these guys? Uh, just some of the basics. Uh, yeah. They all have water reservoirs, but you can hook them up to a water line also. Mm -hmm. They come uh, with their accessories. It comes with a water, uh, a stainless steel braided water line. You hook onto that. And then when you do that, once you have that hooked on, you can actually use uh, line pressure pre-infusion. So if you hook up the water line, the line pressure will push through the machine and pre-infuse. We'll kind of show that later when we get into the uh, programming part. And that's something, you know, if you're going to be buying a, uh, an espresso machine that's plumbable, you want to know whether that machine's going to be open to the line pressure or not. Some mm -hmm. are, some aren't, like ECMs, Profitex, they yeah, are. Yeah, yes, plum, they are. Plum mm -hmm. machines, maybe Expo bars, rockets are not usually? Correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. and these are, so you can do a line pressure pre-infusion. One cool thing we'll take a look at is this has kind of like an automatic pre-infusion. Yeah, it does. You can program it how long you want to pre-infuse for, up to five seconds. And it'll, it'll do that, even on the E61 version of this, but yeah. that's the MN, and again, yeah. we're looking at the DE. So, yes. 
Shall we go ahead and take a look? you want to steam first or you want to take yeah. a look at the display first? Well, let's, we'll jump around in front in a second just to let you know the accessories. Oh, yeah. It has a, a single port shop porta filter mm -hmm. with a single spout, single shot basket, back flush disc, uh, cheap plastic tamper. Standard on pretty much every Yeah, on, on a lot of machines, but the <laughs> yeah. coffee scoop, uh, br brush for cleaning the, uh, the uh, group, uh -huh. and uh, drain line. Nice. Okay, let's go up front and just work our way around there. All right. So first thing I'm going to show you, what's right up front here. This over, this over here will tell you the water level in the steam boiler. There's your maximum, there's your minimum. So if you draw a bunch of water out like we had before, it usually goes right down to the middle part there. Over here, this is, will tell you what the boiler pressure is. Right now we're running about to 1.5, 1.75. This is your brew pressure. And that measures the uh, water pressure coming off the pump. And over here, we can get in here and we can set your steam uh, boiler temperature. We have it at 266, which is the highest. We like it up there. If you want to turn it off, you can just do that if you want to just use the brew boiler, which is fine to do because there's no preheater from the steam boiler on this one to the brew boiler, so that's fine to do. So you just, we can lower it and raise it. And now with these also, you notice over here it says priority. Always leave it to none. It doesn't do any good to put it to coffee or service boiler in our applications here. Now for the brew, you go over here and you can set this boiler on or off. We'll leave priority none. 201 degrees is pretty good. Now you'll notice it changed two degree in increments here. So, but we're going to go 201. If we, whoops, we have a shot timer here. You can use that. You can off or on. You'll see that in, uh, shortly when we use it. And wetting. This is for pre infusion. You can see how many seconds the uh, water will go onto the coffee before the pump will actually turn on. And you go up to maximum five seconds. So that's our pre-infusion. And let's see, so that's that part of it. You got your time and date here, it's all military time. So this is uh, July 6, 2018. We'll go up into here, lots of stuff up here. If you wanna clean your display, you push that button, it'll freeze it for 10 seconds, so you can clean it off. Make it all purty. Do, do, do. do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. I'll go back in. Now we're just going to breeze through this. Uh, it's quick. We've done this before, but we've got to review it all. Yeah, quickly. check the links. We'll have uh, a full, you know, full rundown on how this yeah. operates. Three languages: Celsius or Fahrenheit. Click whatever you want. Uh, LED by display. You know, this is cool. So you see the blue here. You got the blue. You can go green and red, or any combination. Red and blue is purple. You make it brighter, or not brighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll leave blue. I like blue. Put a little bright in there. Um, let's see, where were we at? Uh, one down to the lights, right? Down to the lights, okay. Uh, Oop. Turn off or on? So that's you know, that'll take care of the uh, um, LED lights for your brew lights. And also the light on the back, right? Yeah, if you have the, the other version, this is the matrix we're doing this yeah. on, the other version, the um, duo. The duo yeah. It'll turn a light on the on the back of the machine. It will not have the brew lights there. We'll leave those on. Sensor calibration. That's just for when you first start the machine up. It's a simple procedure to go through with a water uh, uh, reservoir. Okay. Okay. Wait patiently. Mm -hmm. uh, and maintenance. This is how many times you'll brew before it tells you to back flush. So 9,000 is definitely not the way to go. <laughs> when we go down to 50 or so, depending on your usage and how many days. Uh, your water filter, how many days before you want to replace the water filter? 350 again might be a bit long, but the water filters will have other ways to uh, uh, you know, measure how much water they have to go through, like the BWTs you may want to do. If you want to use a water line, click on that. It'll tell you to insert a cap into the reservoir so no water underneath the reservoir rather, so no water will come up through that. You do that, hit OK. You might have heard a click, and now it's in a water line mode. That was that solenoid opening. Right? Exactly. So, now that, so because of that, you can do line pressure pre-infusion. Mm -hmm. Find out where I was here. I go back, I'm going to put that to water reservoir because that's where we are. Date and time, you can set that, military time. Very simple, up and down. And then the uh, auto on, auto off. And you can change your times here for auto on, auto off. And once you get a change, if you want them all to be the same, hit synchronize. 
so you don't have to do it every day of the week. So synchronize will give you the same on off time every mm -hmm. day of the week. Sure. And well, then, then you, you can go in and just change one after that, right? Exactly. Yep. And make minor adjustments. Yep. And then if you need a password to lock people out so they don't play with it. And one other thing we have here, moving right along, is for you doing your back flushing. It has two setups here. You can do a slow one, which will do, it does 10 programmed back flushes, 10 seconds each. Or you can do it fast, and it'll do five programmed back flushes. And you just, so you put your cleaner in your filter basket and put the up into your blind filter basket, put up in the group, push those buttons, and it'll do the back flushing for you. Automatically. You can walk right away. Yep. And at the end, you just rinse it off. Nice. You know. And that's it for the display. Oh, actually, one more thing I want to show you. These little lines underneath here, they'll light up sometimes. When you first turn the machine on, they'll go blue because it's way below temperature. When it gets close, they go red. And then when they go bright gray here, when it's up to temperature, every once I see it'll go red. It shows that it's dipped down for a bit and then come back up again. That's a PID doing its thing when they do the brief little flashes. Just keep well, that right doesn't actually line more. up with when the PID's calling. No. Okay. No. Um, I, I checked that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's the display. All right, Todd. So we're going to pull some shots and steam some milk and pour some art. Yeah, we're going to give it a shot using our Chiato E37T grinder. Big Daddy. Some uh, Maroma's Arabia coffee. Yeah, it's a real nice coffee. You're weighing your dose here yeah, on the About 20 grams, what we were looking for. Nice. That is a big basket. Yeah, it does. It holds a little bit of coffee. Mm. And we'll be using a 12 ounce pitcher for this one. One of my favorite cups. You, you do have your favorite cups for pouring, right? That's yeah, just my favorite cup, period. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> right, so you can lock this into place yep. with a handle. Nice pressure. Yeah. Two hole tip, right? Mm -hmm. When you get it where you want it, you can just uh, flick it up. Nice. Yeah, it's. Those lights really light up the espresso down here. <laughs> I do like the lights. And there you go. Yeah, it'll work. So again, I'm not a latte artist, mm -hmm. but it's fun for me. I like to give it a good go. Now let's try a bigger pitcher. All right, so this time we're going with a 20 ounce pitcher. See how the frothing is with that? Yeah, a little bigger cup. Show the performance of the machine. Not so much the performance of Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I have confidence. Yeah, a touch more. Ever try and pour latte out and run out of milk at the last second? <laughs> it's no fun. <laughs> no. no. Again, that's two hole tip. Mm -hmm. Just pressure going. You got a hole to this whole 20 ounce picture here, which is nice. That's pretty good. It's definitely not perfect, but not perfect. But, uh, a lot of taste really good though. Yeah. There's the first one and the second one. Nice. Mm -hmm. So Todd, you know, I, I think you did okay on the latte art. I mean you're not a pro barista, right? But yeah, it's fine. I really fine. Pre appreciate you always doing that for us so you can see Thank what you. steaming's like. Uh, some final thoughts on, on the uh, on these Bezerra. Bezerra machines, excuse yeah, Bezerra. me. Yeah, we always get that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, really nice machines. They brew and they steam really nice. The temperature control is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm very happy with them. You know, the design, I like the porta filters. everything's, they look nice and they work nice. You got the angled porta filters. you got some of the extra maintenance features in the Jakar touch screen, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And you can have the fun lights if you want to. Yeah, you and know, one thing I like to have people keep in mind is with these machines, uh, we don't ship these by UPS. We do that with a lot of prosumers, but these, they have to ship on a pallet. So mm -hmm. if 
we ship them to you, and if it ever has to come in for service, it's going to have to come back to us by a pallet. Okay, I just want you to keep that in mind when you're buying them. Great machines, uh, just have to know that, that's all. Just want sure. to share. Sure. Okay, so, and again, these are, this is the Bezera Matrix in Duo, the DE versions with a heated group. Um, we also, again, have that video, so use the link up here if you want, if you're more interested in the E61 group. Machine's pretty much identical, right, except for the yeah. group and the fun shot lights. Yeah, we're gonna do a, we'll do a real short video showing the differences yeah. on those. All right, guys, so short. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we do appreciate it, and be sure, you know, if you're not a subscriber, click the little bean down there, subscribe to our channel, um, and be sure and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.